When I was seven years old, I was kidnapped. These traffickers took away my innocence. There's an excellent movie out called Taken, and it really shows how people are in denial. They don't believe it's happening. You know, taxi here are so damn expensive. Want to share? Yeah. Okay, sure. perfect. Right. Hey, there is a party tonight at school. Want to come? Sure, yeah. Amanda, we don't even know. What is there to know? We saw it. I come pick you up uh, around nine. Okay, yeah. Okay, great. See you tonight. Okay, bye. 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 Yeah, 9 Rue de la Pompe, fifth floor, two girls around 18. Taken is a powerful film that takes viewers on a journey into the shadowy world of human trafficking. How many people are there? Be precise. Three. Go to the next bedroom. Get under the bed. They are going to take you. The sexual exploitation of children has become a cottage industry driven by the internet. Children have actually become a commodity. It's a $32 billion industry worldwide. And our own city, Washington, D.C., is a major destination city. Deborah Sigman founded Innocence at Risk in 2005. Her objectives to fight human trafficking and to educate the public about this criminal enterprise that continues to grow. In just a short period of time, the nonprofit has recruited powerful voices here in the United States. We say to the victims, we will make every effort to make you safe and secure. By prosecuting the traffickers and imposing serious jail time, we are telling these exploiters that we are coming after you and, they were not, and you are going to pay for your crimes. Few Americans know that one of the greatest threats to children is human trafficking and commercial exploitation. And allies around the world, including Queen Sylvia of Sweden. We are talking here about a terrible kind of modern slavery. Um, really a problem which is a disaster to the humanity and children and innocent children should be really guarded and we should save their childhood. She's taken the campaign to help innocents at risk to Capitol Hill, testifying along with another key supporter, Ricky Martin. We have to step out of denial. Unfortunately, we believe that doesn't, this is not affecting us because this doesn't happen here in America. That's why I'm here today to once again talk about this cruel reality. It, it is happening. It is happening. And Innocence at Risk is doing something about it on the ground and in the air. For a moment in time, strangers from around the world come together as travelers. It's also a moment when American Airlines flight attendant Sandra Fiorini can save a life. She says after 39 years on the job, it is not difficult to recognize a suspected case of human trafficking. Two years ago, it all changed when Fiorini met Deborah Sigmund founder of the organization Innocence at Risk. We're talking about modern day slavery. Innocence at Risk provided Fiorini with brochures detailing the signs of human trafficking. There's also a phone number to report a suspected case. We're working with Congress, with the Human Rights Commission, and I think that something will come out of that. The hope is that brochures like these will eventually end up in the seat back pockets of all the flights. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News. Part of the reason why the campaign to educate is taking off is because of the people on the ground who have helped innocents at risk from day one. Debbie Sigmund heard the horrifying stories and could not stand by without taking action. She created Innocence at Risk back in 2005 and has worked tirelessly over the last half decade to make uh, and talk and sell the idea that we've got to do something about this. The talking and the taking, the selling and the abuse and enslavement of children is something that we cannot stand by and not fight. Another key supporter is President Obama's ambassador at large for global women's issues, Milan Vavir. From the beginning of Innocence at Risk, Milan has been a great support and really our guiding light. Tonight we honor her with a special gift. I present this to you. Thank you for being our guiding light and our godmother. Innocence at Risk was birthed 
Uh, it has become a preeminent organization. Debbie has created some of the most innovative uh, forces to deal with this problem, like the flight attendants, which I think is just extraordinarily brilliant. So it is true, one person can truly make a difference. She has demonstrated that with innocence at risk. There's a wonderful quote in the program from Queen Sylvia, uh, which ends with, you can all do something, you can all make a difference, you can save a child. Because without your help, those who are continuing the fight against human trafficking know that these children will remain innocents at risk.